in the artificial lighting market, LED lighting is getting a lot of popularity. So we're gonna go through some of the options related to cannabis production here on Tobacco University. All right, let's get into some of the LED lighting options for cannabis production. So first off, LED light is a high powered light emitting diode. This kind of shows the kind of the intermechanics of what is involved in those little tiny diodes. Not gonna spend a ton of time on the mechanics, but realize that there is a lot going on in each of those little LED chips there. So LED color mixing, so to get certain colors, types of white LEDs pr are produced with the um, red, green, and blue color mixing. So you get a lot of kind of mixture of those colors. This is how they're able to get kind of that pure kind of white light by mixing the LEDs that they're adding uh, to get that color mixing to get potentially certain wavelengths or a combination of wavelengths for those plants to be exposed to. Now the advantages here. So LED advantages on plant growth and development compared to conventional lighting sources. So for some uh, lights, growers can select specific wavelengths for customized plant growth and development. The versatile control of the flux emissions and light spectrum, high luminous efficiency, small size and directional light emissions down towards the plants, which is great. They have a long life expectancy, actually up to 50,000 plus hours. Reduced heat emissions, but that does not mean no heat emissions. It does not get dim with age. Economical in terms of space and power, at least for wattage requirements. More robust structures and easier to handle. And easy to dispose of without any environmental hazards that might be uh, contaminants in other bulb or lighting options. So with this, it sounds like almost too good to be true. It's just a win-win. Um, however, features to look for when we're looking specifically at LED lights you want an LED light that does not have fans to help cool it. Uh, fans have a tendency to fail uh, sooner than the actual bulbs or diodes will. So if the fans start to fail, it'll overheat and potentially um, damage your, your lighting structure. Also, full spectrum, you want to go beyond the, just the PAR reading, as we can see here, this would be a full spectrum light. If they're dimmable, that's another great option, particularly if you're ceiling height limited. Light intensity that matches the environment. So if you're enriching with carbon dioxide, higher light outputs can be utilized by the plants compared to non-enriched environments. So make sure you're getting the proper fixture that matches your growing conditions. Now there's the great debate between the high par and the full spectrum LED lights. The high par look like this and the full spectrum look like this. High par is that kind of purpley light. The pros are that they're very efficient at producing high par values. However, the cons are they're hard to diagnose plant abnormalities. And in general, I would not recommend the high par lights simply because uh, plant production can utilize more than only the PAR spectrum, and potential plant issues can easily be missed. So not only is it harder for the grower to identify potential issues with their plants, plant servers were learning more about them, particularly cannabis plants, might be able to utilize more than just the PAR reading. So yes, it's great and plants can be grown well with these lights, but really I'd recommend more the full spectrum lights. Produces wavelengths outside of just the PAR spectrum, which cannabis plants can utilize and potentially can get better yield are better quality as well. However, they can be more expensive, but they're highly recommended for plant production in general, especially cannabis that has high light intensity demands and growers are also interested in plant compounds, not to mention the added benefit of being able to diagnose potential disease or nutrient deficiencies very early on. Lastly, just looking at one example here of uh, one of these uh, LED lights, the Gavita Pro 1700E LED, uh, just to give you kind of an example of one and kind of what they may look like and they come in very different forms. I like this one because it simply gives you that nice little chart there to see as well what it's producing. Um, and they can reduce the HVAC needs because they're not producing as much heat. Uh, they have a nice even design here, very spread out amount of light. So again, a lot of advantages, but again, this is just one comparison. I'll do another video on exactly comparing some specific brands of LED lights here on Tobacco University that you're welcome to go search the channel for and check out.